We have liftoff. Yes, Do we yes, Miss Mary. We are in the air like Elon Musk's left nut. I am telling you. Okay. I could give two shits less about Wow, wow you just going to be difficult nut. from the start of the show. Welcome to That's In a uh, Perfect World with your host, <laughs> Flash. And Grammy. Hey, thanks a lot, Grammy. I wasn't going to do a show solo tonight. I wasn't in the mood. And I had seen you not show up, so I was in a panic. And then ah. the shit hit the fan, and I touched some buttons. Defecation made high-speed impact with the rotary oscillator, and next thing you know... I clicked a button, and nobody could hear me talk. Which was flash hell. Yeah, but you got you got to <laughs> realize, too, is I'm listening to you guys talk about you can't hear me, but I can hear you. <laughs> I can't type because Grim has the computer. So I'm sitting here talking to myself, like usual. <laughs> anyway, can you well, hear us now out there in uh, reallibertymedia.com land, where the land, land is large and the police are small, my friend? They are small, or well, they have small tools. I uh, mm, anything's possible. It says we're live, so let's go with. Bless you, Grimner, for getting me out of whatever the hell I did to this computer tonight. I have. Ami, 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 ah. Telling you, man, I've got worse. I, whew, I've got the worst luck when it comes to computers, pushing buttons and reading and stuff like that. <laughs> Grim is the bomb. <laughs> and he can read. Boy, when I learn how to read, you guys are in trouble. Anyway, <laughs> you want to you wanna say hello to the bots and the bodies tonight, Miss Mary, on In a hello Perfect to World? Hello the bots and bodies. Okay, on over the here in the RLM. the 23rd of June 2020. Okay. Is today the summer solstice thing? Mm -mm. No, I think that was uh, Sunday. The 20th. No, that was Father's Day. Was it? Well, then why did you ask me? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. i never seen a solstice. I, I thought it was like, you know, like a cute name for boobs. <laughs> uh, oh, did you bring your my, solstice? <laughs> they're my soul wow, anyway. sis. Spots and bodies. Spots and bodies, you weirdo. Bots and bodies, bots and bodies. Save me oh, from myself was, tonight, Mary. I've had it. Saturday. Yeah. Oh, it's Saturday. I, Frog says 21st, which is two days ago, which I don't know. So <sighs> here we go. Yeah, but. Barman, right up up. But mm -hmm. Vikings don't have privileges for blanket forts. We conquer blanket forts. We're pirates. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that, because my dog right now is hearing all kinds of butterfly farts and letting us all know. Bark! It farted. Bark! It farted. Thank you. So, Barman, right up top of the list. Thank you, Barman, for being the most splendiferous spot in the whole wide world. I also see Beetle is back. Hey, Beetle, how you doing? That's what talking about mullets. Oh, dear God. And looky here, we also have Cowboy Tech in the chat. He's hey, always hearing other voices, and I don't ever want him to get his hearing checked. <laughs> I also see Grimner hey, Grim. is in the chat. Oh, man. The RLM oh, God boy. and the Flash faux pas fixer upper dude. And, I, all and I really break them, too. <laughs> you are a trained professional. Good at what I do. <laughs> I think yeah. you should find another line of work. Ow. So, Pain. Tuesday, June 23rd, three days ago. What? Time for, oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I Moving have... along. Yes, I see the lovely moose coil, too. Oh. There's a double dose of moose coil. Oh, uh, my God. The yeah, world will earlier. never be the same. What's those weird noises people keep hearing? I don't know. That's that's the earth tuning itself. You know when, <laughs> when people keep hearing those <laughs> noises? That's the earth retuning itself. It's getting ready to go boom. Mm. Moving along. Mm. The lovely Miss Kate is in the chat. Uh, Kate. <laughs> I'm reading the chat. I know. They're, they're calling the shots. 
in your living room. I know. Is that not government at its finest? Well, you know, being governed by the chat is, uh, yeah. I could think of worse places that got, oh, wait. No, you can't. There is a worse government. I'm calling Hans. You just sit there, little missy. I'll find, I'll make, I'll fix you. Yeah, but the wonderful thing about the chat, the wonderful thing about the chat you is... turn it off? That's right. <laughs> I read your mind. I know. I was I'm going so into a whole T.I. double gut thing, right. and then you read my mind. Anti. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a jolt. <laughs> oh, oh, I made him wow. wheeze. I made him wheeze. Yeah, well. I got smoker lung, baby, because I've been getting I'm stoned. in rare form today. I'm I caused the wheeze so oh, early in the day. I also see Asmodeus Asmo is here, as well as Chalsa Denis. He got that O oh out of there, because I'm the one that's got the O oh going on with that mm going on. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, moving along. Cycle-o. Hi, ah, Cycle. She's upstairs. That lovely yeah. yeah, she's upstairs, but she'll hear it later. Oh, yeah. And Flash yeah. Somebody. The amazing Flash Somebody pushed a button. <laughs> there you go. Be work. Uh, Frumpy, you need to make friends with Vanna. She'll sell you a few vowels. <laughs> she'll sell you a few <laughs> ounces. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wrong, Vanna. Never mind. With that sparkly, Different. flowy dress. Oh. Oh, don't yeah, this man who don't wear a dress. She sometimes no. needs to run from the police, so she wears oh. slacks. You know what? Women can run faster with their skirt up than men can with their pants down. Just say it. So, Meister Brow. Wow, I said that right before Meister Brow. Who'd have thunk? That would have been something said right before Woody. <laughs> Rob Wikes is here. Rob, did you fire up the bubbler? And I'm just so busy checking out everything else. I haven't seen the Bubblers. Cough, 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 cough. Cough. <laughs> Trust no one and oof, Ooh. oofta, oofta, oompa, loompa, doopa, dee, doo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who could ever believe this? Ah, uh, my brain. Yes, you step inside there and that's the kind of shit you get to run across. Hey, Vanna is here. The lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM channel. Uh, Flash loses his blanket fort privileges until he, until I say he can have, oh, well, thank you, Sock. So there, Flasher. Hotty, hotty, ha, ha. I'll just sail over in my Viking ship and conquer you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll <sighs> stick snuffles on you, and she will bark at you. Bark, bark. Ooh. I like a fair fight, yes. <laughs> anyway. And then Bubba will be back up. Hey, and but. behind those two will be Rascal, who will be doing the figure eight in between your feet as you're trying to conquer my blanket fort. Because hmm? I am in my blanket fort. And don't fuck with me, mister, and bring your own damn crayon. Hey, okay? but have you ever what? been invaded by a Mexican Jew pirate? <laughs> I'm, I'm. You can't even shoot me because I'm like an endangered species. <laughs> a Mexican pirate. I'm a pirate. protected. That's, yeah. That's I'm a, like three protected species oh, all yeah. rolled into one. I'm a protected property on many levels. <laughs> you know what happens when you have three protected species all rolled into one? Joe Biden snips becomes, your kid. It becomes feces. Moving along. Oh, Hi, weather dork. <laughs> <laughs> Weather dork. There you go. Yeah. Phantom. It's the phantom. Oh, no, not the that phantom, phantom is here. Run, run. It's the phantom. <laughs> it's the phantom. Oh, we got a double dose of anti. Uh, we got an anti with a dash and uh, anti with the tail. And I'm wondering if maybe because the dash is below the tail. Uh, I don't want to go there. You already I'm, went there. I'm not going. Too late. <laughs> We got a CC66 in the chat as well as Chloe E. -E. Hi, Chloe E. -E. And a cyborg noodle that you will be touched by a cyborgian noodliness yeah. if you don't stay out of my fucking blanket and leave my crayons alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, ha. Oh, oh ha. Uh, I know. Uh, you're you're one of them weirdos that eats the crayons. Back off, dude. Me? I also see N. Siv. Oh. No, I just burned the paper. <laughs> oh, oh. I know. You take two boxes. He'd roll something else up in there. Uh-huh. Trying right. to get that little waxy. 
no waxy thing going on with the just I see how you trying are. to find some paper to roll with. <laughs> I couldn't find a potato for to make a pipe, so I had to do something. There was that box of crayons just sitting there wow. staring at me. Oh, Challenging my creative California. mind. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I know. Bye. Yeah. <sighs> nice yeah. show. See you next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you. Man. I also see NCIV and Frumpy 2. Frumpy 2. Yeah, we got a double dose of uh, Frumpy two. multiplicity uh, going on in the chat chat. I am Lone Frog. Hey, Frog. The Frog. Hi, Froggy. Wow. I feel so. Hi, Foggy. Special. We also got a JJ's and no, 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 JJ's that's uh, coffee trailer with the kilt. JJ's nines and the drippy oh, balls. Oh, and my, okay. I am going <laughs> to have to call my Uncle Tommy back. That was my uncle calling. Oh, yeah. Right now or do you, what, later? Well, he was, but I will, I'll tell you what, I'll get through saying and then I'll let you do some chitty chat and then I'll call him back real quick. Oh. Just to Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, important stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got a kiss in the chat. Mwah. Kiss pucker up baby cakes. We no. also got a Matt WJ 2002. I know you don't want to pucker up, but you know what? If you don't pucker up, then all kind of shit falls out. Ouch. That's not good. Tighten that sphincter up, that boy. Could be bad. <laughs> Especially if Joe Biden's around. Pop, 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 on sauce and sock puppet. Hi, sock. As well as uh, um, SLC Mike, uh, Salvador, Mike, the holiest structure ever, and z I'm going to have to mute myself so I can talk to my uncle. Okay. Call him back. Yeah, keep him happy until you return, little missy. And tonight, in a perfect world, our show is called The United States of What? In honor of all the hoopla going on back home. Well, I was planning to have Miss Mary to talk to about that, but uh, I'll stall in the meantime with other vital tidbits of knowledge. <clears throat> like, for all you movie buffs out there, just the other day I was thinking, boy, do you ever remember that character that Andy Griffith played in that movie called A Face in the Crowd? He was Lonesome Rhodes. And uh, what happens is, this um, woman is trying to get up in the world, and she figures she's going to make a career off making him a career. And while he's getting more popular and more famous, it goes to his head. And at the end of the run, well, he has a nervous breakdown and yells at the street. The end. But it's a really good film, and it's, you know, that nice guy, Andy Griffith, in, in the 50s, he did a few movies that were, ooh, Way different than the that nice guy, uh, Andy Taylor stuff. He was like a vicious hmm, uh, social climber. Do it anything that you have to do to get up there and be on top. Control people and tell them what to do. And it's really a, it's a good example of how politics works, such like that. Let's see what's going on in the RLM chat. We've got, I'll go from the bottom up. we got some frumpy work, and I'm Loon Frog, Sock Puppet, and Grimner, Salvener. They're chitter-chattering it up, and I'm stalling until Mary gets back, and I'm not really coming up with much in the line of, uh, hmm. didn't do much interesting this week, so... <laughs> I guess we did. Had a terrible dork table Saturday and just kind of fell apart. The more I did it, the worse it got. <laughs> so we uh, we had a visit from uh, my brother. Decided to come in and irritate people for no good reason. But, what did they say? <laughs> Blood is thicker than water, but boy, I'm telling you, sometimes people just... Uh, they need to think about what they they say. They seem to know what what other people say. They don't pay too much attention to what they themselves say. I know I don't. But then I've got a really bad attitude. Call everybody stupid, pretty much. You know, if you if you vote, if you support police and military and governments and kingdoms and all that shit, well, hmm, that that kind of says everything I need to know. But 
course, with all this stuff going on in the States and, well, mostly in the States, nobody's paying any attention to France or China anymore. And then what there is to pay attention to about the States, I'm not getting much uh, fresh information. I find a lot of two-week-old things on uh, YouTube or maybe some personal uh, states of opinion on uh, BitChute. But there's not nothing in, in the course of immediate news from a reliable source. Now, when this crap first started, there was live streams and everybody was cashing in on getting on the internet and filming stuff and showing you what's going on. And that lasted about two or three days. Of course, I'm in Denmark, so there's censorship on the internet here, too, as well. Because if... Uh, like there's a third party company that's selling your your personal information on the other end of it. They won't post it here for me to see it. And that covers not as much stuff as you'd think, but it it covers a few things more than I like to admit. Uh but I feel censorship is kind of keeping me in the dark like a mushroom. Hmm. So uh, what are they? Dead? They're just uh, propagandizing, uh, defining, defining stuff in the uh, Arlen chat. I don't really know how to make sense of the chat sometimes, because I have a few people. I just, I, they, they don't help. So reading their chat just makes my day more confusing. So I've eliminated it. But then when I read the chat, sometimes it's hard to follow who's talking to who about what. So. Hmm. Maybe I'll crack the code. Come on, Mary, get back here already. I'm falling off the chair. We don't have a, we don't have any exciting local Freddy Town updates to make. Uh, nothing goes on here. This is well. Oh yeah, Saturday. I did try to do this on the dark table. I told the story, but uh, we didn't. We didn't archive the show. Can't. We just threw it out. So I'll go through this story one more time. I think it was uh, Thursday night, Thursday night or Friday night, forget which night now, but uh, 2.30 in the morning, I remember the hearing this, it sounded like a plane exploding outside the window, the, that was the, the lightning, it was so loud, it ch shook everything, made everybody wake up, so I come downstairs, Cirque's still awake, and she lasts about 10 minutes and says, I'm going to bed. After I just get the shit scared out of me to wake me up. So I figured, oh, get on the RLM, open up the windows, look at the rain a little bit, sit here, chitter chatter, maybe get tired and go back to sleep. Well, I'm sitting here. The more I'm sitting here, the more awake I start to feel. Uh, it was Friday night because I, I ended up listening to about half of uh, the Freakers Ball live. <laughs> and here it starts at 5 in the morning. So anyway, I'm sitting here. And 3.30 in the morning, I'm still wide awake as shit, and I got these windows in my to the street open, and I hear voices, and I'm thinking, well, that's kind of odd, been living here a long time, and very rarely do you hear anybody walk down the street and at 3.30 in the morning yelling, so I get curious, and I look out the window, as there's two boys, about 16, 18 years old, whatever, walking, holding their clothes, walking naked down the street, and four girls behind them following after them. I figure they're going to the beach to go skinny dipping or something. You know, it wasn't like, oh my God, they're killing, you know, they're going to kill everybody. It was some naked kids and drunk because they graduated from high school. So they're going down to the beach in the middle of the night, you know, do what teenagers do. But it was kind of like a surprising. It wasn't that, it was out of place because of where I'm at but common because these people don't give a shit about a whole, a whole lot of uh, what Americans are kind of caught up in. And the, when, when I was in England, it was the same way. They're very lax about shit. Americans as a you know, country, as a culture, whatever that is. Whatever we're all caught up and worked over about, these other countries don't give two shits about it. But I'm still used to what I'm used to. And I'm telling you, there's just something weird about 3.30 in the morning and seeing naked kids walk past your house. <laughs> well, I'm still laughing about it. So it wasn't so much the culture shock as the humor of the whole thing. You know, 
because uh, I'm supposed to get all insulted and call the cops and oh, they're not social distancing. <laughs> Wearing a mask, the fucking guy wasn't wearing any pants. <laughs> what do you do with him? For can you just see call him making a phone call like that in Florida? <laughs> what? What you saw? What? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this uh, this culture shock, small town, strange thing is. I'm stalling until Mary gets back and. What time of day is not weird to see naked kids walk past your house? I don't know, Grim. It was, I, yeah, it's, it was, I guess it was just because I was even awake. Because these kids were doing this, you know, in the middle of the freaking night. So who, who the hell would be up? It's a sleepy little bedroom town for old people. <clears throat> but I was still awake when they were on their way back an hour or so later. And they were all dressed. So I figured they were just going to go for a dip in the water. It's around the block here. And it's free, too. And uh, now, wait, now there is a Freddy Town update. Cirque says they're digging up her beach where she likes to take Hannibal. And she's bummed. Now, because they're doing uh, improvements on the, I don't know, utilities, electric, sewer, all that underground shit. They don't do much above ground here. They're, uh, they've got lights, but that's it. No power lines. or They don't have, like, outhouses every 50 feet or anything. they they got indoor plumbing, and it's really just like a, like a real place, only different. So, let's see. What it's other... a real place, only different? <laughs> oh, I understand. He was, he was thinking that his phone was whacked up. Because he's been trying to call mom all day, and it keeps going directly to this. This phone number has not had its voice mailbox set up. Oh. And so I said, well, that could be that she's talking on the phone with someone else. Because all of us siblings decided last night that each one of us is taking a time slot wow. to call mom. What a bunch of weirdos. Why couldn't you just get one person to do it for everybody and give the old lady some rest? What's wrong with you people? Because she likes to hear voices. She and I when she told me that I said, Mom, you like hearing voices and then I started giggling. She goes, Not like that. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Oh uh, you know what I named our show today? What's that? The United States of what? In honor of all the changes going on in America right now. The United States of what? Well yeah. I'm in the bar the other day. I think mm-hmm. it was uh, yesterday. Might have been yes. Yeah, it was yesterday. And uh, we were sitting chatting about Trump and the selection in America because the Danish people here, they don't lack Trump. But you know what the other problem is? What's that? Well, they think Biden's an idiot. So they've got an idiot or a rude cunt to deal with, and they don't they don't prefer either. So they're kind of pissy about it. And, you know, here I am, American. You know what the bigger problem is? What? That that those are the ones that we get to choose from. (laughs) That those those are the ones that made it all the way through (laughs) the decathlon of running for POTUS. This massive position that supposedly has all his power. And those are the two that that made it through. Yeah, no shit, huh? What does that tell yeah. you about politics, Miss Mary? Personally, what do you, what is, that just that idea alone? That <laughs> excuse me, that idea alone tells me that a it's all rigged. I'm leaning there. I'm leaning there. Mm-hmm. Or b yeah. Yeah. we get what we deserve. I'm also leaning there. I think I'm going to change my name to Eileen because I lean to the left. I lean to the right. I stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, you know and the only reason everybody keeps talking about the right is this the left is this y'all don't stop and realize those are just wings those are just wings you mean like on on one of those lady products wait in order to keep us going down that path and if they are both flapping at the same time which look at it they're always both flapping at the same time Uh. and what (laughs) 
excuse me, Ooh. what are they doing? Uh. They're driving us right into the side of a cliff. So what I think is get off that freaking blade. Wow. Tell them they can keep their wings, their left wing and their right wing. And if they don't want to shut up with their left wing and their right wing, I happen to have a bottle of KC Masterpiece BBQ sauce, and I'll cook up some wings. And that'll learn them, <laughs> by gosh and by golly. Because really, I mean, any bird, any butterfly, all those things, the only way they stay up is their wings. Oh, well, no. Still reminds me of one of those girly product things. When them, oh, oh. Those things with wings, uh-huh. yeah. Those wings, yeah. Those are who? Who's the Machiavellian person that came up with that shit? I bet it was a guy. I'm sure it was. It was probably the the cousin of the guy that invented the bra. Probably. You know what? I've the, never the met the guy that invented the underwire bra. Wait, well, and you know wait, why well. they did that? You know yeah. why they gave us the underwire bra? You because you do Because they went, hey, it doesn't hurt as bad as a corset, and oh. all the women were going, oh, thank God. Not all the yeah. women. Come on. Okay. Not well, everybody. Yeah. Not everybody participates in the same punishments as the next guy. Some people like their punishments different than other people's. Then you have the masses that like to be beaten as a group. Oh, baby. <sighs> like with this well, COVID horse shit that we've been fucking just inundated in for, what, seven, eight months? Every fucking day of your, you know, electronic life, at some point, this shit takes over and controls. Well, you know what? Hmm. Uncle Tommy asked me about that, and he said, when do you think that second wave of this coronavirus stuff will hit? And I said, two weeks before the election. You think? Well, well, I've made a prediction about the election. It's either going to be postponed, or the government's going to be dissolved before it even gets a chance to postpone it. There's not going well, to be 50 states to fucking vote. Look at what's going on in what? Or, or, uh, or Washington... And then on the other side, in what, Tennessee, I think it was? Asheville? No, or North Carolina. Huh. So in two I... separate states that I know about over here in Denmark, these Antifa idiots, just like the Jews, these Antifa people hijacked the name of Antifa, and they put a bunch of their own fucking people in it and took it over. Because it's not the same here in Denmark as it is there in America. Apparently, those people in Denmark did not get the memo. Yeah, they're not they're not very good Vikings anymore. They don't, they don't seem to want to kick ass and conquer anybody. They just don't want you coming here. But they're not going to go bother anyone else. You know? The Viking well, thing's pretty much just you know now they're it's a good thing to have behind you. But they're proud of it. But damn, they ain't going to do any of that anymore. Hmm. They're very nice so, people. The people I've met that, you know, my age or even down to 25, some of these people are just amazing. It's like comfort, you know. It's not a drag to be around them because they're going to bore you with their, oh, i got to put it with this fucking shit. No, they're, it's like, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I've drank in bars where, wow, I wish this guy wouldn't speak to me. <sighs> oh, I have to go outside and set my cat on fire. I'll be right back. Ah. Yeah. I'm telling uh, you, man. I'll make any excuse to get out of a shitty conversation. Well, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm rude, Miss Murray. I have the manners of a goat when it comes to social uh behaviors sometimes yeah i know and i think the only reason you said set your cat on fire instead of set your pussy on fire was because you didn't <laughs> want to hear it oh. come down and smack the shit out of you nah so. she'd just cry at me or something and then i'd have to feel bad Oof. oh Dude. there you go oh i hate that part the cry thing oh crying out loud can you stop here here's an arm cut me <laughs> stop crying <laughs> i'm joking around I'm being a funny guy. Hey, well, uh, 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 a tough guy, huh? Tough. So, I got a question for you, Miss Mary, that you might really enjoy. 
You want to play okay. on the microphone for just a few minutes here with my question? Certainly. Why is all the space stuff made up? What? Hmm. Because they can. That's the easy answer. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that I, was easy. I was actually watching something on Amazon Prime yesterday. Yeah. After doing my workout and thinking, oh, I need some recliner time. Oh. Um, I've, what's it called? Phenomenon. Hmm. It's a series and it's, um, gosh darn it, Dean Stockwell, is that his name? I think he's the guy that, that he's like the narrator and stuff Ooh. of it. But they, it's really pretty interesting. I mean, they talked about harp. They've talked about um, those two teenage kids in Arkansas that got murdered that there's connections to Clinton, there's connections to drugs, there's connections to CIA, there's connections to... That was one of the episodes, um, and one of the episodes was space technology and stuff, and and I think the last one that I watched was about um, what happened in the Tunguska incident in Russia. Ooh. And And, you know, the Russian government went in and... and pretty much told the eyewitnesses that saw this thing come streaking across the sky, told them, you did not see it change direction. You did not see a tubular object. You did not see. You saw a meteor. That's what you saw. And if you don't, if you continue to say that that's not what you saw, we have a wonderful vacation home for you and the wonderful no air conditioning required Siberian tundra. So, yeah, but they had a few uh, few Russian people that were actual witnesses. Mm. Of course, this was filmed in 1999, so you know the witnesses were like 90 some years old. Yeah. But you know they had they had witnessed this and remember seeing a cigar shaped thing coming down towards the Earth and then starting to level off and then just doing a nosedive, kind of like a Billy Connolly, into the ground like a fucking dart hmm. kind of thing. Wow. So, well, I saw a that, cigar flyer. That was flyer. the last one I watched last night. But I saw a cigar flying shaped thing with a friend in a, in the desert out with Palm, not Palm Springs, uh, the other one, Palmdale. Huh? We, had, we, had, we had to go out that way for something, and it was, uh, I guess, August. And we're sitting against a truck, drinking a Coke or something, cool off a little bit. And we look up in the sky, and there's two things flying, and one of them looked like a cigar, like a shape of a cigar. We looked at each other. You see what I see? Yeah. Okay. But nothing in the newspaper. We checked and looked for days. Nothing. Nobody reported it. Nobody else saw it, just me and Ed. So, uh, one of those things, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all I mean is, the stuff that we're told about, like, space exploration and moon landings and all that stuff is a bunch of horseshit. Okay. Now, oh, yeah. We can, it's a money dump. Yeah, yeah. You can prove in a million links that all this stuff is all made up horseshit, but has a huge following and a lot of support. Just like every other lie that we live with every day. <laughs> so, not that there's nothing going on up there. It's that what they do do, they don't talk about. And what they talk about doesn't ever get done. So, wow, it's like having a schizophrenic girlfriend. Well, that's because what they do do is doo-doo. Oh, she said the, the doo-doo. So that's yes, it. Huh? Okay. Well, yeah, and oh, and they had they even had one about the space station and NASA and how NASA is <clears throat> a civilian agency. You're right. Never a straight answer is a civilian agency. But when they were building the space station that was supposed to be a multinational space station, the US was paying not only the US's share but also Russia's share, which hmm. doesn't surprise me one damn bit. Wow. Ha ha, you're funny. You don't buy all this money bullshit, do you? Come on. Well, you know, if people buy into it, literally buy into it, if they mm. believe it mm. has yeah. some kind of power, then yeah. it does. In this reality, uh -huh. it actually does. Okay. It's just that 
Right. You know, and that was another one that they even went over Jekyll Island and what all went on on Jekyll Island. Ew. But um, people people understand the concept of money, but they don't. I don't think they actually make the connection or get the idea that mm. the money is put out there in order to control you. Mm. You have a limited supply of money, and you have to choose. Do you want to be able to eat or do you want to have the latest iPhone? Mm -hmm. And some people just get out their credit card and yeah. what they don't understand is when they whip out their credit card and just charge shit on their credit card, they're doing the same exact thing that the Fed is doing, printing money. They're just creating digits cybernetically that the Fed... And these people have been convinced you have to pay all that back that you just created right there because only these people over here are allowed to actually create nothing out of nothing. So it's it's a wonderful magic trick. It really is. And where's Rob Boyks? It's magic. Fuck you. <laughs> you guys. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what it is. It is a magic trick. But it's not going to work in, like, late July or August. Oh, I think money will <laughs> still be working until October. Okay, well, what about the products that dry up because of the shortages that they created at the end of the last year? See, and I don't wow. know that there's necessarily... Okay, there's manufacturing shortages, yes. No, I'm talking food, raw shortage. food no, shortages. No, 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 no. Food Yeah, I know. They, they were telling they had all this shit on the Internet. So-and-so had to slaughter his whole herd because they didn't have anywhere to send it. They were making gr gardening tools and seeds, uh, non-essential items you could not purchase. Yeah, I know. States. Darn it. Right? Isn't it horrid? I didn't bother buying from any of those places. Oh, I went to rareseeds.com okay. and got my seeds. That's my point still, Mary, is the panic that the system sets on its own people for what? What's the purpose of the shit that they do where I'm from is I, I don't want to be there. I'm To control your thoughts. It mm. is thought control. And that mm. is also one of the things I hadn't really thought of. With harp, hmm. harp is one of those things. It's a frequency generator, and what their th what the intent was. And these people are freaking morons. I swear to God, they were interviewing the two big guys of harp, and they were saying, "Well, we don't see a problem with sending extra energy up into the ionosphere. We're just trying to create a big pocket up there and then send it somewhere else." And it's like, okay. You create a big pocket, and, and someone that is a geophysicist and several other physicists go, you know, when you do that and it pushes the ionosphere up, what it does is it takes the air, the oxygen, and it pulls it all in, like to fill that cavity. So you create all kinds of havoc. But, oh, it's okay because we're doing it way up there. We're not we're not doing it right across you. We're, we're doing it way up there. And... We're, we want to find out what happens. I don't know what your problem is. We don't know. That's why we're doing it. Mm. But those frequencies, you know, the the human mind, the human body, and actually any critter and the earth vibrate in a certain frequency range. And it's a very low, fre you know, the um, ELFs, I think is what they call them. But we all... Um, vibrate on the same frequency band hmm. and when they start messing with that shit it starts adjusting people's moods because it gets in there and it changes the frequency inside people's brains when they start putting out that frequency level and so I'm wondering if they don't have harp flipped on and that's why certain people that have just enough aluminum just enough mercury just enough formaldehyde just enough fluoride in their system trapped in the brain and they are more susceptible to those frequencies. And so, therefore, they go protesting. I can't say rioting because rioting is mean and I'm being a racist for saying it. But to who? Well, wait you know, a minute. No, 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 no. I don't buy that horse shit. We, we, oh, that's, no. We're not stuck in that word game here yet. Uh, no. Not there, but, yeah, no. over here they're trying to put that shit out there. And it's like, Really? Okay, protesters walk around with signs, mm. and they yell a lot. Mm. Okay, rioters, 
they go and set homeless people on fire. They they bust oh, into businesses. Yeah, they I bust see. into people's houses. Yeah. They steal shit. Yeah. Why? Because they can. Or because that was what they were paid to do. That would be a job. Who in their right mind just goes out and does something like that for no fucking reason? It, it That's what I'm saying. They're not in their right mind. No, I'm saying they're not. They're they're. Can I get the water? They're not in their. Please, dear. Uh, they're they're in their right mind. They're just doing the wrong thing, dear. I see it different. This is what I'm saying. You see it your way. I see it mine. See, and I I think they're getting. I think they're getting wonkied. By what? frequencies, because I tell you what, oh, I've been hearing tones yeah. the last few days, and so I'm mm. I'm thinking there's some there's some stuff going on. Somebody's dodging with shit, and out here yeah. we've had some wild ass weather just pop up. And um, what is it? Thirty miles east of here, and this was like I saw it building, you know, just south of me, mm. but thirty miles east of here. It rained so hard, mm. and the hail was all ping pong size wow. that by the time it moved on, it was you know they had ten inches of water running across the interstate. Hmm. Hey, you know what? It had maybe, just come maybe, down so hard and so fast and just dumped. Maybe those planes that they go up, and, you know, it gives you the idea they're spraying shit because it lingers and you'll see it and all that. It yeah. just struck me. Maybe that's just a distraction from. They're really fucking with is is the frequencies. They control yeah, you know, all that. Well, most people don't, wouldn't know. A, you bring up that word to ninety five percent have a blank stare. I used to be one of them. I didn't know. I didn't know shit about any of that. Then I met somebody that opened the door and I went, "Oh wow, look at this!" It was like a, a, a grown up toy store when you know for your first time. And then it. Well, it Brings to mind when when you're talking about something, and my first instinct is I don't I don't agree with that. Then sometimes I still consider what what I just said, what you just said. Yeah. And you think, oh yeah, but then what about this? And then I went, hey, wait a minute, I was wrong. So yeah, I, I agree, but it's such new information for me. I'm not I'm not used to it yet. Well, and and um, Frumpy and and. Froggy are in there talking in the chat, and yeah. I'm thinking, okay, now you add, and then you add the geoengineering into the mix. And mm -hmm. so, okay, consider this. You've got all of the crap from the vaccines that if you were to break a vial of vaccine, mm -hmm. it would be a hazmat spill. You know, woo, 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 clear the building, all this other blah, blah, blah. And yet it's okay to inject it into newborns. Yeah, that's, insane, that's isn't it? That's number one. Yeah, crazy. And so, you know, they're, this is one front, is wow. injecting all of these toxic metals into and toxic uh, shit into everybody's system. And then the second part is you start injecting nanoparticles of aluminum, nanoparticles of barium, nanoparticles of strontium into the upper atmosphere. And then once you get a nice coating of that shit going on hmm. then you go flip the switch let's change that frequency and see what it does <laughs> and that's basically what they're doing we don't know what it's going to do but you know we don't think it's going to do this this or this so but we got to flip the switch first to find out hmm. that's freaking nancy pelosi mentality you have to pass it before you can read it they we have to flip shit. the switch before we realize that we sucked all of the atmosphere off of the planet well yeah Thanks, guys they got a woman worth a hundred million dollars in government for 40 fucking years representing the poor what the hell is going on what the fuck and it, that woman doesn't know what poor is it's a limousine see, baby to me that's an example of god dang you play in the system you believe in the system and you get exactly what you get and you deserve it ow 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 Ooh. if you're gonna play along uh, and your options are uh, constipation or diarrhea yeah. oh gee which one will i go with which Ooh. one will i go with mm. none of the above both of them are shit yeah. let's how see how none? much toilet paper do i have hey on wait a minute how about none do i do, do I have laxatives? Oh, you're getting 
crazy. Do I have something to keep me from having the Hershey squirts every time I take a step? I think you know, Mary that's basically it. what this system is. Oh. You get a choice between shit and shit. <gasps> Mary! Do you want, you want solid or you want running? Oh, you dirty girl. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to make of all this because I live where everybody's elbow to elbow and everything's just like it was. Without the hit, there's not even. I seen a person in a mask today, but they were driving a car. <laughs> I would laugh myself. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. Somebody's driving a car wearing a freaking mask. Thinking, oh, yeah. What the fuck are you protecting yourself from in that car? Is what I want to know. And then, like, Grim. You, did you hear Grim leftovers? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. So Grim had a little uh, opportunity to help somebody else by just stroke of being behind a guy. And I was Red telling him, if that had been me, I would have got crushed. I'm like 135 pounds, five foot four. The guy would have yeah, crushed me. Yeah, but you'd be surprised. You know, the adrenaline kicks in. You'd be surprised what you'd be able to do. Nah, I don't. I don't have any adrenaline left to carry 300 pounds. Are you crazy? No, those days are. Finished. I'm 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 down to like maybe 200, you know, and that's just balance well. and shit. But a 300 pound guy falling, it it's, it sounds real good. Oh yeah, I could, no, I'm not one to argue my limitations as far as a rule of thumb. But I know when I'm going to get hurt, and I'm telling you, with somebody that big falling on me, I'm in trouble. So no, he was lucky. It was grim. Well, yeah, he was, and Grimm just raised the frequency in his area by re performing that random act of kindness. Yeah, and he said, and it's nothing anybody else wouldn't do. And I'm agreeing with him. I'm just saying if it had been me, I would have just got crushed. The old guy wouldn't have busted his head, but I might have. <laughs> well, Because <laughs> the way go. I, you'd surprise, I'm old now. I'm not 20 anymore. I don't move like a sleek, you know, jungle cat. Now I move like an old slob. Slow and yeah, but sloppy. let's face it. What? The only thing that would hurt you would be the floor, because if he was that big when he <laughs> landed on you, he would be squishy. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just saying, you know. So the impact with the floor would probably be painful, but him squishing onto that might squish you a little bit. But the floor would be the hard, hard well, part. Well, still, he was a lucky man that it was a big sized guy instead of a little sized guy, because then both of them would have got hurt. True. So, True. Uh, you can call it what you like. I know. Uh, my little a brother's raising moment. That's what I'm going to call. It. Yeah. Well, uh, the Harleys is summer, but and that was a frequency raising moment as well. Until well, you look at Harley's uh, bottom line, and then you go, "Oi." Yeah. <laughs> uh, a Grub says I moved slowly to flash, but I was fast for a few seconds. Surprised myself. Well. It's and you know what I I know this too. It feels good to help somebody else when you don't have to. When it was just because, hey, I was the guy that was there, and if I hadn't have been there, he would have been fucked. So it kind of makes you feel, hey, cool. It's supposed to. That makes you do it again later on for somebody if it ever happens again. You know, you just get experienced. Because I wouldn't yeah. have dodged him. I would have just been figured, oh, fuck, I hope somebody could, got a phone to call 911. I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was what I, I had a disagreement in a, con, in a kind of a way. We have a conversation with this couple I know in, in the bar the other, yesterday. And uh, I'm totally against Rockefeller Medicine, as everybody that's ever heard my voice in spirit or radio or in uh -huh. person would know. Well, this couple found out, too. And uh, she says, well, what about if you broke your hand? And I said, well, that's trauma. That's not that's not Rockefeller medicine, is it? She says, and then you know that deer in the headlights look people get when they think of something that they've heard a million times but never thought about it? And then all of a sudden, the Acme light bulb goes lights up above their head. See a corner yeah. of a smile breaking out, and then they make eye contact again, and you see them, aha. So, you know, because you sound crazy telling people, I ain't going to a doctor for no fucking way. What for? I'm healthy as a damn man could be at my age. And they, well, what if you had a this or a that? Well, that's trauma. Oh, then for some reason, when I say that, 
to a person I'm engaging, they seem to understand exactly what I'm talking about without all the, yeah, but what if you have high blood pressure or, you know, you're, I don't know, swollen something, blah, blah, blah. You need pills for, you, and I, there's food for all that. So it yeah, seems like... Yeah, if you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, first thing you need to do is up your water intake. Change your diet a little bit, too. Well, yeah, you but. changing the diet as well. But, see, that's one of those things that the more I investigate this, the more I realize. Because they, they kept telling my mom, well, you're, you're dia well, you're not diuretic. You're, um, ah, I know what I want to say. Diabetic? Kind of, no. No. Um, no. Dehydrated. Ah, you're waterless. You're dehydrated. Yeah. And you're you got high blood pressure, mm -hmm. so we're going to give you blood pressure pills. No, that no. really don't help the blood pressure issue because the underlying reason for it is number one, she needs to have a more balanced diet because yeah. my mother is a grazer. Yeah. Granted, she for the most part she eats veggies and fruits, but oh. she oh. she forgets to eat. Yeah. I I understand that I get busy with stuff and I forget to eat too, but she doesn't drink a lot, Ow. and a lot of that was because she didn't want to have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee, because then she <laughs> sleep good. Okay, I hear you, mom. I understand, but if you drink more, your body isn't in that fight or flight mode of you know I'm being I'm not getting enough I'm not getting enough. It, all of a sudden your body starts retaining some of these liquids, and that's good for you. You know, your body needs to retain some fluids in it. But now that she's been in the hospital and now that she's out of the hospital and in a, a, a assisted living thing for 10 days is what we were told, but they'll reevaluate next week. In any case, she's got fluid in her system again. Mm -hmm. So she's not getting up in the middle of the night because she's gone through this process, you know, and thankfully she was in the hospital and it was one of those situations where she didn't have to worry about it. I'm not getting into the medical part of that, but she didn't have to worry about it for a while there. And so she got to the point where she was retaining the fluids and her blood pressure went down. As a matter of fact, her blood pressure went down so much that they had to take her off the blood pressure meds. Because she was rehydrating herself. Da, 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 da. And once you get the blood flow is more fluid, then the blood pressure issue goes down. So, well, and you know what else? What? Assholes raise your blood pressure. Yes, they do. Okay. Well, that's a given, but it's never spoken of. So... Just imagine if the girl at the desk is an idiot, and you're not, and she's on the phone when you walk in, you stand there for a real, relatively long enough period of time that she should have said, hang on a minute, I have a client at my desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, she didn't do that. So when she finally got off the phone, I was hotter than the nuts on a, you know, what you call it thingy. Yeah. And one of them things. not a happy guy. And the, so I get put in my little cubicle to wait for the doctor. And he comes in. Well, I had brought a friend as a witness to how shitty these people were behaving towards me, right? So mm -hmm. not only did she see the girl at the register be a complete ass, when uh, the doctor comes in, he didn't see her sitting behind the, the door. On the stool, he saw me. What are you doing messing with my girl out there like that? Blah, 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 blah. And then he looks to his right. Uh-oh. And there's this other person listening to him yelling at me about what the girl did. Oh. Well, this is my experience with American medicine. I and mean, people wonder why. Ah, fuck all that. I just, once I got the brain cells together enough to realize there was a decision to fucking make. Because I was assuming I was ill. See? And I couldn't mm -hmm. put, put it together while I was taking all these fucking pills. Make, it would cloud in my thinking and you name it. It's horrible. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, getting off them, hindsight, people, wow, you must be crazy to stop all. No. <clears throat> Nine years later. 
I'm still 18 years older than Cirque. <laughs> so, you know, no matter how you slice this cake, uh, the the reality defies what people believe. Yeah. Because we're all taught to trust our doctors, trust the medical and the professionals. And in the end, it all turns out to be a hopeless pile of shit unless it's trauma. And then even then. Chances are you could get a bad surgeon through a trauma, too. Yeah. But. Well, look at Java. <clears throat> but no matter. Getting... Okay, but no matter how you fucking slice that pill situation, you always lose. Yeah. I mean, you. It's you... not just politics that the game is rigged. No, no. Well, they're tied at the hip now. The Once upon a time, it wasn't a. It wasn't a for-profit business, this medicine. Rockefeller did all that. Oh, yeah. And people go along with this social stupidity wherever I'm at. I can't fight it no matter what I do. And they've always got, you know, they've always got their, their argument set aside. Whoa, well, whoa, well, what if you get hit by a car? So I hope the fucking thing kills me because if it doesn't, the driver's going to be really mad. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, I don't see that. I watch where I, you know, I don't walk out in front of cars like an idiot. And if somebody was, these streets, 35 miles is like, that's it. So if they're going any faster than that, you hear them coming. You know, you can't, oh, yeah. you, you can't tell me a grown man can't walk down the street and hear a car behind him going to hit him by accident because the driver's losing. These things are, they're not as, hmm, Hard to avoid, as you would think. Accidents. Look where you're fucking going. Look around you. You know, pay attention. And then, like yourself, when somebody else loses control and hits you, you're you're more aware of yourself than most people are, and you handled it properly. You still got hurt, but hell, fuck, head on. Well, yeah, it could have been way, 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 way oh, worse. Fuck yeah. Well, I'm still amazed that you're in the condition you're in already. Because look at where, how old we are, you know, for one. We don't heal as yeah. easily at 60 as we do at 40. And I had my major shit done in like 2003. So it was like 43, 44-ish, right in there. So I know it's a lot more healthy than, back then, of course, than I am now. Because, you know, 16 more years of wear. But now I've got all that uh, polished up internal crap inside me that repaired the holes that the whatever the hernias were. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, they did all kinds of fancy. I get my my wife gets weird when I put her hand on my little plastic knob in my side. <laughs> she squirms away like, you know. No, I'm not creepy, Joe. Yeah, when you do that, you're creepy, Joe, you weirdo. <laughs> when she puts her hand on your plastic no, knob. No, when, when I put her hand, she doesn't <laughs> She doesn't do it by accident. She knows where it's at. So when I try to make her, hey, feel this, you know, it's like one of those, hey, taste this. What? This tastes like shit. Here, try it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> you must be talking to yourself, mister. One of those deals. Oh, I'm still stuck on puts her hand on my plastic knob. Sorry. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> when Java Java had uh, his knee surgery botched, right? Uh-huh. Well, that's the same kind of thing that I have. I have a mesh with a like a plastic ball or something on it. So through my skin, I can feel it. And every now and again, I, for a giggle, like, hey, give me your hand. <laughs> she just freaks out. It's funny to watch her squirm over this. I don't know why. Creeper. Well, I can't do it with everybody I know, but Sirk, she's married to me. She can't do anything about it. <laughs> What's she going to do? You know, call the COVID police. Oh, he's touching me again. <laughs> Oh, my God, he's making me touch his plastic knobby. There you go. <laughs> then, of course, the COVID police would say, what is exactly your problem? 
plastic? Is... What is this plastic knob of which you speak? <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was so in, it was so interesting. What is spoken well. about it before? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'd have brought it up sooner. Uh, but, oh, you and your plastic knob. Well, not I only did. that, but now you got to uh, understand the whole background behind my my medical history, right? Goes, uh, uh-huh. I'll sum it up like this. When I was 43-ish, four, right in there, I had four hernias tr- try to explode all at the same time. Okay. Ow. Now, I had been to doctors previously over the years and mm-hmm. tested for every fucking thing that they tell you they're testing you for. And uh-huh. nobody had ever diagnosed me with fucking hernias. So, these incompetent fucks either didn't want anybody to know, so that someday it would just, <laughs> you know, because I'm not a wealthy person. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'm telling you, when this thing finally fucking went, my roommate was a paramedic and knew the surgeon that uh, did the surgery on me. Okay. And I was going to doctors, and they're passing me off. Oh, there's uh, every fucking diagnosis you can imagine, except for hernias. Okay, it was weird. So I go to see this surgeon and on a Tuesday, and he's got me on the table on Friday, because that was as soon as he could book the table. Dang. And then I had two of them done, and then six weeks later, I had the other two done. So, for a while, I was just chopped up hamburger meat. Yummy. Yeah, but, okay, I think because of my addiction to marijuana and such like that, that it made uh, things like walking right away after the surgery made it a lot Uh easier. Oh, man. Well, I healed quickly because I was trying to be active. You know? But if that happened to me today, I don't know if I'd see my, I'm not in that frame of mind I was in, you know, 15 years ago. So it'd be different. Well, yeah. That's what I think. I mean, because we change. You've changed in 15 years, haven't you? Oh, God, yes. What's your favorite way of change that you've changed? Mm. Um, I know it may sound like I I get <laughs> upset by shit more easily, but really I don't. I mean, it's 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 one of those things where it's like, ah, uh, who really gives a shit? I mean, seriously, you know so. You do. Either you do or nobody. That's the way I figure. It's it's yeah. all up to you know, you're you're seeing your life through your eyes, right? Just like I am. Uh-huh. So I figure you're enjoying the life that you want to live and I'm enjoying the life I want to live and I look at other people and think that about them sometimes. And then there's this other part of the humanity that just doesn't quite seem to click. You know, there's something odd about them. Yeah. And, you know, I have learned, I have, that's another thing. I have learned that it's okay for me to say, you know what? I get where you're coming from. I understand, you know, what you're saying. But I really don't want to expose myself to people like you. So I'm just going to go over here. Yeah. And, and without just, saying it. Yeah. But that's what you yeah. mean. And even if yeah. you were to explain it like that, they wouldn't know what the hell you just said. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. And it, that's yeah. that's okay as well. That is their thing. Right. My thing is, okay, I no longer wish to have that yeah. in my reality. So yeah. I'm going to come over here where I really like this reality over here, and I'm just going to shut the window on that over there. Is that like so, apathy or, how, or ignorance? What would you call that? Uh, it's called self-care. I care enough about myself to not allow someone else's bullshit and drama Mm -hmm. into my life. Now, I will say that there are times that I still get caught up in 
<laughs> you know, I, I do uh, occasionally yeah. still get triggered. Yeah. But for the most part, it's just I'm venting frustration. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God, I'm still allowing myself to get drawn into this shit. Blah, 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 blah. And then I just go, okay, <sighs> pull up your big girl panties, Granny, and just my big girl granny panties. That's what I'm going to do. I'll pull up my big girl granny panties and I'll just say, I ain't dealing with that anymore. And I'll just go play in my garden or whatever. Well, you know what I just realized? Is that most, What's that? Most of the people arguing in chat rooms, they're not uh -huh. even arguing about anything that has a solution. They're just arguing about a thing that in their mind is real. See? In my mind, I read about what they're arguing about, and I think, ah, ha, 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 that's funny. Because to me, it doesn't exist. It's not in my reality. Well, and I'm, I'm getting to where more and more I realize, hmm. never get into an argument with an idiot. Hmm. Not saying everybody is idiots or assholes, unless I'm behind the wheel, and then whoever is irritating me is either an idiot or an asshole. Ooh. But... Well, because I'm behind the wheel, and I am I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. But you never argue with an idiot because, number one, they will drag you down to their level, and then they will beat you with experience. So, <sighs> you know, I will, I will get into an exchange, a verbal exchange with someone, but when it starts being, being argumentative just for the sake of, being argumentative, it's like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. You just sit there and argue with yourself, okay? Because I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do something fun. <laughs> You're really just, yeah. Ow. Are you... I, re I really have gotten that. It's And thank God I read that book, The, yeah. the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Oh, okay. you had to read that in a book. Wow. Well, it's, it's funny. It really is very funny. Yeah. But, you know... It wasn't until I, you know, it's, it's like the Acme light bulb moment. Oh, you only, yeah. You only I get, get to spend so many fucks to give mm. throughout your lifetime. Mm. And so if, say, I've only got 20,000 fucks to give throughout my whole lifetime. Now, while I was raising children, you know, I, I had an awful lot of fucks that I gave out mm. to my children, to those that they were interacting with, all that other fun stuff. But now that I'm older, I'm getting down to a very limited supply of fucks to give out. <laughs> I, I don't have that many left. And so I'm being very picky about what I give a fuck about. And uh, that that book yeah. explained uh, how that works. You only have oh, so you many fucks you really did to read give a book. Oh. throughout a lifetime. <laughs> I thought you were joking. My God. Oh, no. That, that book really, it says, uh, well, it's funny. I mean, he is funny, but. You know, he basically says, you really only have so many fucks to give. And by the time you get older, you just get to the point where you're very, very stingy about what you're going to give a fuck about. Hmm. And I'm getting very stingy about it. <laughs> well, yeah, but we're we're running at the end of our life, not the beginning, dear. We're, we're you know. Well, yeah. There's the only so many years that you can keep the machine operating in a <laughs> functional way without it, without interfering in other people's life. That's just the way the game is. Yeah, well, you, you know, go. and when you really think about it, when you're a kid, you don't really think about I don't know of too many children that are going around going, oh, I only have 20,000 fucks to give through my whole lifetime. <laughs> no. no, when they're kids, they're like, oh, wee. Yeah, they're all. I have 20,000 of them, wee, because it's a magic number. It's got all those zeros behind it. So it's wee, I have lots. And then you get older, and those magic numbers start going away, and you start looking at it, and you go, oh, well, wait a minute here. I'm going to have to get a little choosy. Sorry, but you didn't make the give a fuck cut today. Sorry. Well, I, would, so, I would smear my Jew, Jewy, Junus all across it and get another couple zeros. Mm. It's the way we work. It's, it's the way of the yeah. Jew. Don't thank me. It's a gift. But wait, there's more for just 1995. You too. <laughs> yeah. What you think I'm kidding? Shit. You know. No, I know. In you this, in this. Okay, but in this illusion that we live in, there's a physical reality that we play in in commerce, right? Uh huh. Well, people 
that play in the commerce world at the level of money that we're playing with together all of us don't have we we don't have as much money as the banks trade in one day the five biggest banks trade in one day one of those <clears throat> trades more money in one day than all the rest of us probably generate in a year probably which should be a hint right then and there that it's magic. Something's Fuck wrong you. somewhere. I know we, especially on this show, we've worn out the Federal Reserve Bank argument because everybody listening to Real Liberty Media, except for maybe two, understand it. It's not a very complicated thing to get. It's What's hard to understand is that the dollar crashed in September of 2019, and now the problem's caught up. So they used the COVID as an excuse to shut shit down because there's no money to pay shit. They're Which collecting. Which crash was that now? Because it crashes just about every year, doesn't it? Uh, twenty nine. I think 2019 was finally the last straw. Hmm. And things surface later in time. You have something happen today at this level of finance, and you don't feel it or see it for a year or two. And this is, wow, from where I'm standing looking at it, it doesn't look very good. I might be, oh. uh, you know, overreacting to what I see in the eyes of somebody else, but this is the way I see it. From, I think we yeah. need to go all Icelandic on those bastards. Oh, yeah, what the fuck, without a doubt. And what would you do? Okay, so we put you in charge, and you're in charge of America. What is the first five things you do to fix it? First five things? Okay, let's make it easier. Three. Oh, no, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll go want, with five. Okay, first five. five things that I would do to fix USA hmm? would be, number one, anything to do with legislature or legislative acts. No more than five pages, period. And they are not allowed to cover anything more than one topic at a time. That's the first thing. They can't be longer than five pages, and they can't cover more than one topic at a time. Mainly because you let them cover more than one topic at a time, and then next thing you know, dipshit McGee, or whoever the hell, is out there going, well, you know, we can sneak this in there, too, because everybody seems to like this thing that we're voting on. But they won't ever go for what I'm trying to sneak in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack it on, and that's how you get pork barrel bullshit. And I just, I'm tired of all of this, oh, let's cover 20 different things in one piece of legislation. And everybody talks about this one thing, nobody knows about the other 20 things that are snuck in behind. And, you know, it's a Joe Biden thing. You know, oh, creepy Joe, this just got snuck in. You won't mind, will you, if I just kind of sniff a little? You know, that's that's the shit that's going on right now, and it needs to stop. So that would be the first thing I would stop. Next thing I would stop is get rid of all of the alphabet soup agencies because every damn one of them is a worthless POS. Damn. No, they are. Well, Every damn one of them. Don't hold back how you feel. <laughs> Let it out, little missy. Come and to terms with away, your inner demon. I would get rid of federal everything. There is no such critter as federal. Get it down to where what affects you most happens and what has the most power or control over what happens to you happens on a very local level. And I'm not talking about having all these aldermen and shit and, well, the city council of Chicago decided that. No, no. This neighborhood decides one person is going to speak for him. And if you don't show up to the meeting, tough shit. You're SOL. And, and also, you know, if you are going to do something that is federal, like we have to as a United States if you have to do something on a on a federal level, everybody's name gets thrown into a till, and it's just like jury duty, only you can't get out of it. And if something needs to be decided, then you got to go, and you got to sit there, and you got to argue with every other Tom, Dick, and Harry that shows up, 
And if you do a crappy job or those that from where you're from think that you did a crappy job, then nobody's taking care of your shit while you're gone. And by the way, you don't get paid while you're there either. Oh, yeah. You get room and board. That's it. Well, shouldn't even get that. Well, I, I think, think yeah, I think that you know the least we can do since we're sending them off to have to deal with this shit no, is they get fed and they get somewhere to sleep. No. See what you do is you hold these fucking term limit deals down to two years. Any any office, no matter what it is, you're in it once. That's it. Your political career ends the day you sit down. It's over. You don't ever run for another chair. There is nobody gets paid for doing it. It's not a fucking privilege. It's a service. You know? Yeah. You're not. And you're term not, limits, really. Why do you need to legislate term limits? It's really simple to enforce term limits because you're going to ask these people to vote themselves out of a lucrative job. Yeah. Granted, see, it's now, yeah. Table, that's, but, that's why I think th- I I caught this. Some somebody else brought this to my attention once about you know if they just did it for two years and they had to pay all their own fucking bills and not work while they're in office because they're working in office. It would limit a lot of fucking traffic. People wouldn't want those positions. And the people that did would want them for the fucking right reasons, not because they're going to get rich, but because you're going to have a civilized fucking society to live in. And I make that assessment because where I live, the locals voted the police out. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, years ago. Said they, they didn't want them here. They got rid of them. Ah, that sounds like Max, Nebraska. I thought I mentioned this to you before on the show. But, Uh yeah, they, yeah, well, one of the first things I learned when I first moved here, I went to the pub, and they were bragging to me about, you know, Denmark this and Denmark that. Another new American here. So why I'm such good friends now with these people is because they've known me since I first showed up. And they've taught me a lot of stuff, you know, local stuff. Cool. Eh, lucky, to, I'm lucky to be where I'm at at the time of uh, that we're in. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. Well, if you're comfortable where you are, no matter what the country is, is the that's the idea. Because the government here is just as fucked up as the uh, one I come from, just smaller. So they got they got to treat their slaves a little better and at least pretend to listen to them about some stuff. But then there's communities, and these communities are so old and so tight-knit that they can pretty much do shit within their own borders beyond what the big city might want to let people get away with. You know, well, like, and it's up close and personal stuff. Well, me and Cirque have a burn pit in the backyard. And just they they might make a comment on the news, uh, high winds in your area, that just tells you, hey, no fire. You just know that yeah. because it's common fucking sense, and you go along with things that that hurt other people. You avoid them in a society. Yes. yes. Well, how fucking hard is that to do? Well, it's when you're stacked on top of each other in cubes like a fucking uh, Jenga game. Then it, it changes the reality a little bit, I think. Yeah. I think I was a lot harder of a human to get along with when I was in the city than I am here. Yeah. When I walk downtown, I'm telling you, I was having beers with the kids, uh, Ash and Magnus today again. They live above the bar, so sometimes they're out smoking. They can't smoke in the building. It's a, a state building where you know yeah. they, they get uh, help with their finances and whatnot. So they got rules they got to live by, but because they got to smoke out there, when I come to the bar, they see me. So they, hey, ah. what you doing? So they come down and join me. We have a beer and bullshit a little bit. You know, I was always curious. Do they call you Flash or do they call you Lou? Oh, no. No, but that's just my radio name. <laughs> I'm, ah. I, I'm Lou to everybody. Uh, some people, it's <laughs> Louie. The, the bar likes to call me Louie. Because I think ah. they're more accustomed. Because uh, the French version of Louis is actually Louis. You don't say it with an S. Ah. Yeah. So they're probably more just because they're Danish. You, they lean that to that kind of spelling or that kind of word sound. Ah. Yeah. But it's weird. It's like being Norm. 
You know, when I walk in the fucking bar, I hear, Louie! <laughs> <laughs> Today, I, I go to the grocery. They got, they've got this guy. He's uh, probably just the short side of, of whatever the minimum for IQ is to be functional, where you don't need anybody. Ah. And he's a uh-huh. big, gigantic guy. He's got, must be about six foot seven. Maybe six, six, uh, somewhere in there. And uh, I, 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 he drinks down at the bar. He does stuff for them, keeps them busy and occupied, something to do. And uh, he usually just grunts or nods at me. And today I passed him in the grocery store. And out loud in English, he said, hi, Lou. And I went, wow. So, you know, I've been here so long that even the, the hardest people to, to get close to are like, eh, there he is. <laughs> ah, you have almost become a fixture. Oh. No, no, I, I think I am. Whether it's a good thing or a bad is up to the individual. Some people don't like me around, but some people do. So it's balanced. I avoid the people that don't care for my company, and then I just hang with the people that do. See, and that's basically what I do. Yeah, it's not such a bad life, you know, but... I could make it bad if I was going to be out there arguing with people about politics and, you know, uh, oh, I like Trump. That would go over really good right now. <laughs> oh, Trump will still skin is entertaining. No, he, Biden he was is not. I've tried to explain that to you. That in this, their eyes here, they still, they brought it up yesterday. The insult of Trump making it sound like he's going to buy Greenland like it was a, a hotel somewhere. It, it insulted them. That's you know that's part of their home, their territory. It's like somebody coming to your house and say, oh, I'm going to buy your, buy your house. What? It's not for sale. Well, I don't care. I'm buying it. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and that's yeah. that intrusive behavior. That's what I see them react to. And I go, wow. How embarrassing it is, in a, you know, in a sense, because that's where I'm from. But fortunately, they don't seem to compare me to him. Like, well, you act just like that idiot, you prick. Stay away from me. <laughs> I don't get that reaction, you know. See, and I just, when I heard that comment from mm-hmm. Trumples, and that's probably just wow. my, well, I know it's just my perspective. Um. I just thought, oh, piffle. You know, and I just figured he was just being a dumbass. Because that's what I expect. I'm a dumbass. Dumbass remarks. Yeah, but I do that sometimes, too. Just stupid words, goofing around, don't really mean it, just say stuff. And eh. And sometimes people just don't know if I'm playing or not. And that's the part that gets me in the most trouble. <laughs> the straight face when I'm... I'm joking. It's like, wait a minute. You didn't say that. What? No, I guess not. I didn't hear it. If I didn't hear it... No, never mind. Yeah. Hey, did you know that... Hey, what? Did you know that weapons aren't... are not for protection? Did you know that? Let's see. What's the argument for that? Weapon, a person will only have a weapon if they are going to, if they are planning on committing violence. Is that the argument for that? No. Not for protection? No, I've got a common sense approach to the whole fucking thing. Okay. Okay. Because I put me on the bad side of the gun. You know what I'm going to do with my gun? What? I'm not going to let you see me pointed at you. See, because I'm a bad guy. I'm not a fair guy. I'm going to stand there and give you 10 minutes of warning so you could go get your own gun. I'm going to hide somewhere in the fucking bushes and shoot you when you're not looking. You do realize that weapons, a.k.a. guns, knives, forks, toasters, Mm, baseball bats, tire irons, anything, Mm. everything is a tool. And it's how you exactly. use that tool. Exactly. See, that, that's the point I'm trying to make, Miss Mary. Exactly the point. Because that's why I don't fuck with guns. Because if I ever got mad and angry and wanted to kill somebody, that's how I'd do it. Hidden in the shadows, under the 
behind a fucking large weapon with a big bullet in it. So, you know what? Nah, I'm not I'm not somebody to do that kind of, you know, stay away from the, all that negative cuz that's where I would be drawn to. <laughs> hmm. Well, you've never thought about, hey, if I was a bad guy, what kind of bad guy would I be? Would I be like, you know, all suave and do war like uh, James Bond? Or would I be like uh, clunky and stupid like, uh, what's his name, Bruce Willis? Suave and deboner or smart assy? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. But I think I would be the sneaky, hide in the bushes. Just if you're going to be horrible... Be the most horrible you can be, or just don't. <laughs> so I decided. Well, and I, I think the sneaky hide in the bushes, sneak mm. up on someone. Yeah. I've seen a lot of videos lately of mm. people just coming up and blindsiding someone just because they can. And I think, wow. Truly what shitty a totally people. Chicken, exactly. Chicken shit cowards. Exactly. That's the point. See how easy that is to read when you look at it from the proper angle. <laughs> well, I've just I've always thought anybody that does the underhanded stuff is a chicken shit coward. Right. You know, if you can't say something or do something to someone's face, you're freaking coward. Wow. Well, you know, when I think back, when I was still living in uh, North Carolina, for example, for whatever reason, I would frequent certain bars on the weekends. Part of my thing. And uh, some nights, re- get a reason, I don't want to be out tonight. And I just go, fuck it, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. And then I'd leave. And then the next day or the day after when I came back to that bar, I'd be all gossip about the big fight that happened the night that I'm not there. <sighs> you missed it. You missed the entertainment. There yeah. was a floor show for yeah. free. Okay, you had to yeah. buy your own drinks. But and, there was and, a floor show, and you missed it. And I knew all the paramedics that were on call to that site on that particular night, and the cops. But I didn't know the cops. I just knew the cops through the paramedics. So, it was uh-huh. like, but I wasn't there. It was like, wow, the look to not be involved in all that drama with you know the people you know. These paramedics all know me. I would have been embarrassing as fuck. Caught up in some stupid bar fight. You know, like, what? Him? Are you crazy? Because I'm the guy that would... I eventually learned in my older years, get the fuck out of there. Let them idiots play. I have no time for that shit. And as I got older, it turned into like, just like a timing thing. I don't want to be here tonight. Got that, fe- like the frequency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I wasn't aware of that interpretation at the time, but hindsight, I felt, see, I felt something and I bleh, bleh, went home. You had a vibe going on. Well, yeah, and you can. You do, you get a, a rather uneasy feeling. Are you vibrating? If you are paying attention to yourself. But are you vibrating? Huh? 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 Am I vibrating? No, I haven't had a buzz in a while. Uh, <laughs> I, woo, baby. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, you play so good. I know. You dirty girl. What are we going to do? Are you... I don't know. You know why I don't have any of those kind of accoutrements? No, I never because asked. Because knowing my luck, yeah. my dog would find it in the underwear drawer, and it would bring it out and show it amongst polite company and go, your pink bone is vibrating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw a movie where somebody's mom mistook it for a lamp or something. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> How do you turn this flashlight on anyway? Oh, I got a horrible joke. You ready for a joke? We haven't had a joke. Sure. i give you a joke. And we're okay. going to use Grimner's uh, state to... Place me at the scene of the crime. And the joke goes like this. I was hitchhiking through Albuquerque back in a few years ago. And I stopped off in Albuquerque and I needed a few dollars. So I was walking down the street and I see this uh, help wanted sign off in the distance. And I go up and it turns out to be this 
a porn shop, sells books and dildos. And so I would just, fuck, I need money. So I go in there, talk to the guy. He says, yeah, I gave you this much money for this much that, and you do this and that and the other thing, and I'll be back. And that's okay. So he hires me. My very first morning, I get this like squirrely looking girl with, you know, big glasses comes in, kind of scraggly looking. And, Whoa, I'm thinking, fuck, what the hell kind of job is this? And she says, uh, sir, do, do you have do you have a, a, a black vibrator? Yeah, yeah, over there, they point on over. And she goes over, she comes back about five minutes later. Sir, do you have, do you have any multiple colored vibrators? And uh, I said, uh, yeah, but it's really expensive. And she says, well, how much is it? Anyway, she buys the damn thing from me, and the guy comes in and says, so uh, how do you like working here? And I said, oh, I'm, I don't like it at all, man. But uh, I sold my thermos for 100 bucks, so I'm going to be hitting the road. <laughs> I thought a little joke for the Woo! night. Yeah. That's a little wallowed out there now, dude. Ah, it was a joke. It wasn't a real thing. I was just making a joke. I said it was a joke. But Well, want a true story? Mm -hmm. Oh, I sure. I got invited to a party. And I was thinking, and you know, it was from some kids that were my youngest daughter's friends. That they just always called me mom. I'm kind of a second mom to them. And so I think, oh, okay, I have no freaking clue what a slumber party is other than, you know, slumber parties like girls come over and they have pillow fights all freaking night and eat everything in the house, whether it's cooked or not. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I can come over for a little while, I guess, but I, I'm not sleeping over. And they laughed, you know, which should have been my first cue as to it's not that kind of slumber party kind of thing. <laughs> but I show up. And I see this big old clothing rack full of very frillies and very lacy and very sheer. And I'm going, oh, fancy jammies party. That's what this is. And so I'm kind of looking at the fancy jammies and I pull up a price tag and I go, I'll go naked before I <laughs> take it. There's yeah, a threat. I, I mean, I got to the point where I was scared to touch the stuff because if I left a fingerprint, they'd make me pay for it kind of <laughs> prices, you know? <laughs> And so I'm looking at all this stuff, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't know why they invited me for this. I mean, I'm divorced. What do I need this shit for? Oh. So, you know, I sit down, and they Shopping. bring me a beer, and we're sitting there bullshitting. And then here comes this big old suitcase, and I'm thinking, oh, for the smaller dainties. And they open that suitcase up, and it's like, Kilimanjaro, what is that? <laughs> I had no clue what some of that stuff was. Mm -hmm. I still, I'm, I don't. And one of the girls said, "I can tell you how to know. I don't even know what it is. I don't want to know how to use it." <laughs> Damn. I'm, wow. I realized that the reason I got invited because they knew I would be comic relief, and wow. they wanted to see me get embarrassed, which I really did. But they were one of their latest models got passed around to everybody <laughs> uh -oh. and they passed it to me and I'm looking at this and I'm going that looks like those you know those little sticky things that you throw on the wall and they stick it looks like that and they said oh just take it so I gra and it was like oh my god and dropped it in my lap and they all just died laughing I mean I wasn't going to touch that damn thing again because God knows if somebody tried it out and decided they didn't like it. And then they had this whole other case wow. full of stuff to clean up your toys, mm. you know, so to keep you from getting an infection from yourself. Apparently, I don't know. But I I tell you what, that I have been to porn shops before and seen stuff, and the six-foot-long dildo was pretty much the deal breaker for me. I went, no, I'm done in here. Thank you very much. Wow, you dirty girl. I didn't realize they had those shop at home things. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so <laughs> you know, sitting there just all kind of, I I know I'm crazy and I I can be very dirty minded, but man, I did not realize. You know, this to me this is like, wow, door to door dildo salesman. Holy shit! Door to door. I, 
Mm. And yes, I got told later on that I was invited for the comic relief because they knew I would have smart-ass remarks for every little toy that they brought out. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't have a smart-ass remark, the look on my face was going to be just enough to give them all giggles. So there you go. See, that's my purpose in life. I am comic relief to so many people, even when I'm not intending to be. <laughs> hey, uh, if if Grimm is still listening out there in Radio Land, do you know what time when we started the program? I think we were like fifteen or twenty minutes late. I I'm think not... we were like fifteen minutes 15? late. I didn't okay. really look at the clock. Well, but... he's got he's probably got a clockometer that tells him cooks his eggs, tells him what time the show starts, <laughs> shit like that. Oh, like one of those phones, oh. you know? Oh, yeah. Grimm well, doesn't know when we I don't know. Oh, let's go with a quarter. It's eight till. You want to do until a quarter after then? That's fine. We'll try to do a, a full, complete show for Mr. Group. And, wow, man, what a sh I've just had the shittiest two, uh, last two shows. Well, not so bad tonight. Thank you, Miss Mary. But getting started was not a... <laughs> it wasn't impressive. Yeah. Oh, but see, that's... Getting started was the shit, but then once you got started, it's like, okay, we got that out of the way. Now let's roll with it. Yeah. So. He says my broadcaster should tell me, but no, my broadcaster tells me the uh, the time. The exact time is the clock running, but I don't know where to look. Well, just don't see. push any buttons. No. You know I'm how not. you are. Exactly. <laughs> Ah, uh, I know. That's how we got into all that crap in the first place. Is I must have clicked something. I didn't mean to click it and thought, oh, it's all right. But it didn't. It wasn't all right. <laughs> help, help. So, yeah, I get myself. Okay, Rob said he checked at 15 after and we weren't on yet. So All right, then 20 after. Okay. Well, give him a, give him a whole show there, Miss Mary. I've got other questions I can't ask of you. Just because, so long as they don't have to do with like vibrators or uh, shit. You know, you know how <laughs> no, you know how seriously dead set against this illusion of commerce that we participate in, right? Uh huh. Now the cornerstone of my madness lies in this sentence. Okay, trying to explain myself to those that care, <laughs> but we're buying paper. With paper, you're not buying property with gold or cars with gold. You're just buying the paper to the car, and you're buying. <laughs> it's a, it's a bunch of shit. We're, we're being fucked. Actually, you are investing your time, your energy, your knowledge, your skills into a piece of paper that ain't worth the paper it's printed on. Oh. How does that feel? Oh, that made my butt pucker. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How scary. That's, that, ooh. Yeah, that's when you when you break it down. Mm. Your time, your energy, your expertise yeah. is worth not even the paper that it's printed on. Well, According to the system. Then why? But we have bought into the system. You know, we that's what we've been trained with. And and it's one of those things where it's I can honestly say it's not our fault because we were raised in it. This was the reality that we were brought up in. Yeah. And yeah. yet there are enough clues along the way that if we actually pay attention to those little clues along the way, we can realize that, hey, this is bullshit. You know, my time, my energy is my time, my energy, and I'm not going to trade it for your worthless little scraps of paper. So what? They have fun little colors on them and a magic little tracing strip. <laughs> yeah, know, but just... we need them to do commerce, Miss Mary. Without them, yes, you cannot do commerce. Then what do you do? Uh, then you need to start laying the groundwork for a system that does not require this kind of barter, you know, and and that's not going to happen until people start having self-respect, 
you know, because a lot of times if you don't respect yourself, you are not going to respect anybody else. And that's yeah. that's what I see with a lot of these people that are doing nasty shit out there. Like what? They Wait don't a minute. Respect them. I got you lost. Know, they don't think... respect themselves, therefore they don't respect anyone else. They yeah. have no respect for life in general, yeah. including their own. Yeah. When you look deep down, they don't have that. And so, therefore, yeah. why should they respect or value anyone else's? Well, what does That's that got to I, do with money having a value? Money doesn't have a value. But right. We, in order to get away from that system, yeah. that mindset that oh, you can, not that some here. things are worth more than others, and if you don't have this, you can't have that. Yeah. You know, instead of having that kind of a mindset, yeah. have a mindset of, okay, I have these abilities. I have yeah. this time. Well, when the governments finally quit fucking around, that's what you'll need. So you're already there. <clears throat> it's just the timing, you know, you're just ahead of your time, so to speak. Yeah. Because all, just... all this, all this flim-flam with the big cities has finally collapsed. Well, and I think the big cities, I... <sighs> You know, going to be bad. You look back Ooh. far enough, yeah. and and you really investigate some of the ancient mm. history, or mm. at least mm. what you can do through archaeological stuff. <laughs> I don't think they really had massive, you know, like millions of people in an area because they knew mm -hmm. that it was just too damn many people yeah. in one area, and it could not be self-sufficient. Couldn't sustain itself. Nope. Yes. So all these things were, the, were done on purpose over a long, what, couple hundred years, right? But they've been yeah. done in steps in a long-range plan. And people are exposing what they think the end of the plan is on the uh, YouTube, BitChute. See links about all this kind of stuff. They call it conspiracy theory because... Well, the government doesn't really want to just say, look, you idiots, <laughs> we're going to do what we fucking please, so shut up. Yeah. So what they do is they promise everybody what they want to hear, and then they do what they fucking please. <laughs> yeah. It, they're and a the parasite. reason they get away with that is because we let them get away with it. That fucking Nancy Pelosi is worth a hundred million dollars, and she is sitting in a seat of position that makes decisions in the financial world <laughs> what is well, wrong with you fucking people and I, see Jesus that's Christ. that's where this whole system is totally wonky mm -hmm. is that she makes decisions that that drastically affect the entire country yet she's only supposed to represent a small area and that small area that she represents mm -hmm. is a freaking shithole so she's obviously not representing them. Well, not her neighborhood. No, but the area that she yeah, supposedly I know, I know represents. That. But the, the part of the city where she's got property is uh, it's north. <laughs> she's got this big... Uh, I've seen this link, this woman just trying to be like a, uh, like Vinny. She made a video of going to her property with Mexicans and parking her, their shit on the on the lawn and pitching tents and shit. And they got security on them so fast that they didn't have time to do much. You can't do this. Well, this is Pelosi's place, and she said we should come. <laughs> well, yeah, but she yeah. didn't mean here, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, another one of them NIMBY people, not in my backyard, <laughs> or front yard, or side yard. And, and this, this is the yeah. fucking top leadership of America, and America wonders why it's not the great, wonderful fucking place it was. Was, and they're gonna go. They're gonna say, "Well, you can't blame Trump. No, you can't. You can't blame this. You can't." Well, yeah, the whole fucking thing. You just put a name on it. This time it's Trump. Last time it was Obama. Before him it was Bush. I mean, it's always something, some name. That, and who cares any fucking way? Keep. You keep the illusion alive long enough. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and that's basically what it is. But I, I really think a lot of this crap that's going on is the opportunity 
to wake the fuck up for an awful lot of people. And it really is waking up an awful lot of people. There's an awful lot of people out there going, wow. wait a minute, that's not what, wait a minute, that's not what we were told. Whoa, that's not how it's supposed to work. Oh, that is how it's, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, so the, this is a massive worldwide, wait a minute. Worldwide, moment. wait a minute. How do you feel worldwide? I'm here. I'm oh, telling I, you, nobody I, here is being awakened about fuck all. There's nothing to awaken them about. We just, okay, just because Denmark, Denmark is part of the world, but there are other oh, I don't mean, like Russia I don't mean where the, people are going, no, wait I, a minute. I don't mean the city. I mean just where I live. See, it's what I mean. This is so weird. I understand. Weird. But, we've but been, there are, you know, it's like here where I live. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody here where I live that's going, wait a minute, that's not how it's. They all know what the hell's going on here. See? You know, okay, so there's a lot of that, but to, we're not collective, but we're, there's pockets of us everywhere. And, but we're separated by, by land, so there's no union. It's very... Mm, and yet there making, is, because there is a frequency out there. There is a vibration. Yeah, there is a changing of the frequency. Look at how many idiots are promoting the mask, Mary. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, I, I, can, a, I, can go, I can go to the closest town from me yeah. and not see a mask anywhere. I can go to the other one that's only a half an hour from me and see masks all over the place. Okay. They're only 20 miles apart uh, as the crow flies. Yeah. I saw, it's just different I, pockets. I saw a celebrity bitch and her cat of 25 years died of the coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, and well, these it's a people. Well, comfort her to think that yeah, way. Well, maybe so, but these people have what you call fanatics, and those yeah, fanatics. Followers. Yeah, but no, they're beyond followers. Okay, like I'll follow you on minds. That doesn't mean that I agree with every fucking idea that you have. Most of it I do, but every once in a while you'll go into a girly thing or whatnot. Nah, I don't really. I don't feel. Uh, it doesn't, I'm not interested in that, so I skip it. Yeah, that, well, I mean, and that's okay. That's that's part of life. Right, but that's because I'm one of those, uh, what does Cert call me? You know, like a old, fat, like old fashioned, like a like a Republican, conservative. You're, yeah. you're a curmudgeon is what you are. <laughs> no, I just I just like to make up my mind and even if I'm wrong sometimes, just enjoy being right. <laughs> it's so much fun. People are so they're 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 like toys to play with with words. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you didn't notice. Well yeah. I mean you can mess with people. I've gotten to where I'm I don't I don't like having a battle of wits with unarmed people anymore, so I just don't don't. What do you consider that anyway, a battle of wits? Uh, what would that entail? Talking about what? And why? That's not wits. That, you know what that is? That's what you call defense, Miss Mary, in my opinion. Eh, you might think so, something completely different, but I find it, when I do it, it's defensive. Got nothing. See, and yeah. What I'm talking about is, you know, like talking to someone that says Black Lives Matter, and I say, okay. Hmm. All lives matter. Hmm. No, black lives matter. Okay, so you're saying that when I say all lives matter, I'm being racist. Where when you're saying black lives matter is not racist. Well, no, it's not. And and black lives matter. And I so black lives matter more. You know, and so I, to me, a battle of wits with someone is taking what they're saying and putting it right in their face. And trying to explain to them, this is what you're saying. Say that's what this I mean. This is yeah. actually yeah. what you're saying. And, you know, I've gotten so tired of that. Mm. It's just, I just can't do it anymore. It's <gasps> like, okay, y'all just, y'all just wore me out. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to sit over here with my racist all lives matters thing and yeah. just be a racist all lives matter because I think the human race matters. I think the doggy race matters. I think the kitty cat race matters. I think the monkey race matters. I think all those races, all of those, the, the plant lives matter. 
And how do you know that that piece of lettuce that you're eating right there isn't screaming in agony as you're biting into it? You know, just <laughs> I know, that I shit know, out. I know, I know. And it Possible. just you just get to the point where it's like, obviously, anything I say, they're going to say, but you just don't get it. You're right. I don't, <laughs> and I'm not going to let you drag me down to your level so you can win with experience. Wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you, so, you seem so determined. Uh, well, hmm. now there are some people that it's, it's, it wow. is fun to, you know, poke them with a stick every once in a while. Hmm. But after a while, you just get to the point where it's like, okay, hmm. okay, I'm done. Y'all just don't get it. I'm, I'm, I got a bruise on my forehead from beating on your brick wall, so I'm going to quit. Wow. You... Sure, I'm glad I don't have to talk to people then. <laughs> wow. There, I, I have nieces that I have just gotten to the point where it's like, okay, honey, you believe what you want to believe. That's that's mm. your story. You stick with it, and you deal with the consequences of that story you're sticking with. I'm gonna go over here and deal with the consequences of my story that I'm sticking da, da, with. Da, 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 da. When are see when somebody famous uh, makes the truth public maybe then the adults out there fighting and being resistant to it will get it but you know it's a long way down the road I think I think we'll probably do ourselves in collectively before we fix it I don't have high hopes for the future from my perspective looking on to it even where I'm at I mean I'm saying it's if things continue the way they're going, you know, it'll spread and get here eventually. So, hmm. people need to, whatever, what the fuck, how can you say, I, I think what I mean is, what would be good for all of us is not what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, so, if... Or at least not what we're it, seeing is right. being done. All right. So if, if these idiots in power would stop with their fucking money-making schemes and shit and just get settled down and go, what's the best thing for all of us, which would be easier to figure it out, wouldn't take much. You know, common sense and uh, using your sense of judgment to judge quality and, you know, craftsmanship. What, how hard could this be? But we... It, what we we ended up with was shit that falls apart in a bad windstorm. Well, what the fuck is yeah. that? We could make hempcrete that would last a thousand fucking years. I know uh, they use shit, mortar and stone, like a bunch of monkeys. Well, because it's planned obsolescence. You know, we can't have something that lasts forever. Because even those things that last forever, if you ever notice, a lot of those really cool things that have been built to last forever. That's where they have wars and they bomb the shit out of that stuff. Yeah. Get rid of that stuff because we don't want people thinking you can build stuff that lasts for centuries. No. By golly. Sad, How are it? we going to have our planned obsolescence stuff and keep the economy going with all of this? How? how wait a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, like when we started the show, with like that other, that musk idiot with his little scams. Got a whole bunch yeah. of good people conned and hustled with. Bullshit stories that are never going to fucking happen. And it's just wrong. It's wrong to strip them of what they got in the future. They won't have either gas or electric, the way things are going at, at this moment, point in time. Yeah. So, well, it's just a shame that we allow these lying, thieving, fucking people in suits of position to be ordered around by bankers and Jews and, you know, we end up like this. Which, what what I mean is, the state of Washington. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> or, but you know what, you, you look at that and there's uh, an example. Hmm. Okay, we don't want to have that, so let's do whatever we need to do to make sure we don't have that. How the hell did it ever get to this point? I don't, I don't see, see, this is too... Um, you got too much cooperation from the sitting power to make this some kind of coincidence. This is a plan. 
These people are oh, working yeah. together. That's and they in, in coordination. It's really fucked up. You got in in house. Isn't it funny? It's a coordinated plan, but all huh. of the participants are so totally uncoordinated. Oh yeah, it's a performance. You're seeing the best way to fool somebody is to act stupid. For fuck's sake! Yeah. When people think you're stupid, they think you're harmless. Oh, they're stupid. They couldn't do anything to me. <clears throat> well, oh, I yeah. I look at that stuff going on in Seattle right now, and mm. and the way I the way I deal with it is to inject a little humor, and I just see all those people in Chaz or Chop or whatever the hell mm. as a bunch of clowns all trying to fit into one Volkswagen bug. <laughs> wow. Well, it's my bug. What, I get shotgun. Yeah, what yeah. I've seen of it, it's not so amusing though, because it seems to me that <coughs> the people that are there have done exactly what they've protested against. Almost oh, everything yeah. they're doing. But they don't see that. How could you not see it? They put a border around the fucking place. They could armed guards at the damn um, street. Because it's different because How's they're it different? doing it's... it once again a bunch of clowns <laughs> trying to all get ride shotgun in a volkswagen you're so funny miss mary <laughs> huh? i swear huh? hey giggle a moment a giggle a moment i tell you there you go what there would i do go. hey i'm it's so boring here in denmark compared to america well i'm sorry you're bored you guys got all the entertainment in the fucking world Good guns. I know. Good guns. Just, it's like law. There's so much entertainment going on that I don't know what to pay attention to. This is so. If the, I'm going to pay attention to something, I want yeah. it to be beneficial for me. No, I want the lawless West to come to life from afar, and it's oh, it's you happening. Oh, sit back and watch. Yeah, with my popcorn and my feet up on a stool. I earned I this. Uh, let me tell you a little, yes. Missy. Hey, Chewy, I bastard. warned everybody through my... I told them, they're fucking lying to you. Oh, okay. You're one of them. Okay. And that's pretty much what life was as far as on politics. Ah, fuck politics. Oh, you're some kind of communist. <laughs> so, eh. <laughs> so I never... I avoided all that shit in real physical life like church Ugh, fuck what would i know about a church mm, i don't know i i don't know that it would be a good thing for you to walk into a church it might fall down around you okay and well, some people uh seem in my past that had a religious school background mm -hmm. they were some of the wildest fucking people i ever met Oh good God! Growing up, yeah, I went. I went to Hayes High. I'm talking you know, to my twenties. No, 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 no. But the rich no. people, the good Catholics, they Talk went to Marion and Thomas More because those were good rich people Catholic schools. Not that and young, Mary. And I tell Mary. you what, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> those people, them girls, I tell you what, well, they was always the life of the party. That's not what I meant. I'm not talking about girls. Oh. I was in 27 years old. <laughs> but the girl was my age, but she was she went to all that Catholic school shit mm -hmm. and ended up living with me for three years. So, hmm. well, you know, Catholic Catholicism is like alcoholism. <laughs> you know, the more you drink of it, the more <clears throat> they say you're inhibited. But you know, you got to have a pressure release somewhere. Well, it gave me the impression that right, she was uh, counted as a uh, some whatever religion it was. I forget now, but she was well, I guess it was Christian, some form of Christian, right? Mm -hmm. So in the bean counters thing, because she attended the school sponsored or owned by that religion, well, then she was one of them taking part, you know, in that thing. But in reality, she wasn't doing that. She says, no, I avoided all that shit as much as I could. I went, wow. <laughs> so, how many other hypocrites are these, you know, they're representing you, these bean counters, calling you this and that when 
when in reality you're, you're the face of it, you're one, but the reality of it, no. <laughs> You know what? When they started doing Saturday evening services in Catholic Church, you'd be surprised how how busy the Saturday evening service got, as opposed to the the old Sunday morning like nine o'clock services and stuff. They don't even do nine o'clock services anymore. Hey, Java. Sunday morning, they do them Saturday evening, and you know why? Because mm. people can go to church Saturday night, they can be all holier than thou, <laughs> and then go out partying Saturday night and not have to worry about getting up early to go to church Sunday morning. Wow. Progress. Yeah. Man. Technology. See? We've outsmarted Which, you know, when they're going you know to that. church on Saturday, yeah. they are keeping the Sabbath holy, at least, as opposed to Catholicism, where Sunday is the holy day. It's Saturday, people. Y'all been fucked with. The only religion that anybody has claimed to have at the bar where I go to drink. Mm -hmm. When I speak to people, they always speak in English because I don't speak of the Danish. Mm -hmm. And everybody that ever references religion says, I'm atheist. Hmm. Okay. Now they can be atheist or they can be a theist. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's know, not I'm the point. With words yeah, again. but that's not the point. The point is, is I know. very important for some reason for some of the folks that I engage, for them to be clear with me that they don't, re they're not represented by any fucking religion of any kind, is what they mean. That's how I'm taking it. You know, not an well, argument, not just. No, because there's a big church down the street, and they rings the bells and all that crap, but they don't have a whole lot of uh, attendance from the public. Just a few of the wealthier people go to keep it alive. Yeah. But the the working poor, fuck, they don't give two shits about the damn church. But they're not rude and, and horrible about it. They just avoid it. You know, ah, it's not my thing, yeah. Let the ones who want to go to it go to it, but not me. So, and I don't you know, think the more that's... I find out about the Catholic Church, the more I think mm -hmm. the God they're praying to ain't a God I want to be associated <laughs> with. Oh, I, well, we ought to do a show maybe Saturday if you're around for the, We'll do. I'm not doing any more solos. That just my solo just went to shit Saturday. I'm, I had such well, terrible I was time. I was having fun playing with babies, and I was I so worried. Uh, that the granddaughter turned, she turned a year old oh. on Saturday, oh. and I was really concerned. I hadn't seen her since November, and you know, wow. when they're young like that, that's that's a long time yeah. for them. They forget you. And uh, so I was really concerned that she wouldn't remember yeah. me. Yeah. And uh, I'm sitting on a chair, and she's mama goes to get her when she wakes up from her nap, and brings her out and I start doing my Grammy thing. It's like, oh, it's a baby in the room. Uh, uh, so I go all weird. Aww. And and Wayne's daughter put her put uh, Leah down and she starts crawling around and then she gets up and starts walking around. Then she comes over and she's just kind of looking at me and I'm just talking to her like I did last time I was around her. And next thing I know, she puts her hands up and wants me to hold her. And it's like, oh, dun, dun, yes, dun. yes, because she is most definitely a mama's girl. Super but, granny, huh? Yeah, she cool. she remembered cool. me, and she knew. And so it was like, oh, yes, I still have it. <laughs> well, the clock says. I had a good time with babies. I hear. But the clock says that's the end of the show, Miss Mary. Ah. So. Because cool. we started late because I did something stupid to the uh, headset setup in some internal... You did oh, something that Lord. made us have one of those moments where it was like, Grim, yeah. help. So Grimmy yeah, got to come in lot, and save Grimm. the day because yeah. Grimmy is just awesome like that. Yeah. He's way better than the Lone Ranger. Mm. And, mm. and then we had something so we could go, damn, we got that shit out of the way. Now we can have fun. So, hey, it was all good. Well, and, I enjoy my... And you won't my, do that again, at least till the next time. <laughs> I enjoy my radio when I have a partner to chat with more than doing it solo for some reason. Still, I understand I, that, totally. uh, But, yeah, Saturday was just so... It was mean. I wanted to uh, crawl into a cave and 
you know, hibernate, but it's it's June. <laughs> So uh, time to feast. Uh, you don't you don't hibernate in June, boo boo. <laughs> What's wrong yeah. with you? You got nothing good. <laughs> it's fall. Uh, hey, nothing goofy oh, about well. me. It happens. <laughs> got a buzz. Got a buzz. I got okay, my buzz well, on. Thanks a lot, Mary, for helping me out this week with the In a Perfect World podcast. And with any well, luck, I'll see you on uh, Saturday for the dark table. Yeah. Because if I, not, I'm going to get... As far as I know, I will be here. I'm going to get a hostage somewhere if i got to strangle somebody and bring them duct tape to the show. But <laughs> thanks, a lot, <laughs> thanks a lot to the RLM for hanging in here with us tonight. And yes. see yes. you next time. Oh, and we've got a... Uh, We've got a, a show coming on Thursday night. Larry Woods, and Rob Works, and me doing uh, the Dropping a Coil show. Ah, sweet. See okay. ya. See ya. Love you. Bye. <laughs>